In this episode of Beyond the Boundary, powered by Elista, we spoke to the USA skipper Gitika Kodali, who shared her experiences of playing in the inaugural edition of the Under-19 T20 World Cup, her cricketing journey, and more. Smart ho raha India. Jaise India me bana Elista Smart LED TV with world-class clarity and amazing features. So, what is your reaction after getting selected for the Under-19 World Cup and that too as the captain of the side? I was very excited to get selected as the captain. Um, we've been preparing for the World Cup since 2022. So, I was actually able to captain about four tournaments before playing the World Cup. And we were champions in all four of those tournaments. So, I was super excited to meet the girls and play with them again because we all grew up playing cricket together across the country, seeing each other at local tournaments, and now we get to spend weeks together. That's great. So who was the first person you called after getting that news? Um, I think the first person I called was my parents to tell them that it came out and just because I wanted to share it with them first. Cool. So how exciting is that atmosphere at the Under-19 World Cup? It's very exciting. Everything is so professional and there's just interviews before the toss like, and after the game, and we're all getting a sense for how it feels to play on the global stage. So it's very exciting to see all the different players we see on TV uh, just walking in the same hotel as us. There is this thought process that under-19 T20 World Cup are more of a development tournament than uh, playing to win that tournament. It can be a bit of both, but how do you see the tournament? I think it's definitely we came here to try and win the World Cup and so that's what we're going to go with. But along the way, a lot of our under-19 players have been playing for the senior side too. So we can use our learnings from here and translate it into our games for the senior qualifiers. Yeah, you talked about uh, playing in the senior side. You have at least 10, 11 players that have played already played for the USA senior side. So how, how that experience is different and the experience of playing in front of a large crowd and in front of global audience on TV on under 19 T20 World Cup? I think it's not that much different. So a lot of our players played in the ICC Women's World Cup qualifiers in UAE like a couple months ago. So we also faced some really strong competition there, but we were able to learn from that as well. Yeah, cool. So let's just talk about your shirt number. What is your USA shirt number and is there any story behind it? My USA shirt number is 16. And the story behind it is in school, I would always be number 16 because they would list our names out alphabetically with our last name. And my last name is Kodali, so it's right in the middle of the alphabet and we would mm -hmm. have around 30 to 32 students in each class, so I would always be number 16. So let's go back to the beginning. How did your cricketing journey start? When did you start playing first? So I actually played a lot of sports before I played cricket and I would switch the sports every season. So I started with soccer, then basketball, then tennis, and then I did swimming. And then I finally ended up on cricket because my childhood friend joined an academy there. And at that time, I didn't know that there was cricket in America. So I was just playing backyard cricket with my family during potlucks and everything. So after that, I joined in the academy that my friend was going to. And the head coach happened to be the USA women's head coach at that time. So he was able to guide me well and like, he was able to make me a reserve on a tour where the USA women's team played against Pakistan. And so I went to Florida and saw them play in the stadium and it was just an amazing experience. But his name was coach Raghu Barada and he was able to just get me on the track to making the women's team very fast. Yeah. Did you play with any of your USA teammates as kids? Yeah. So after I started playing cricket, a couple of years later in 2018, there was a girls cricket league tournament organized by one of the USA cricket board members, Nadia Guni and Joan Serrano. Yeah. So that's where we all met for the first time. And we were, we were playing in the stadium. A lot of us, it was the first time we were playing on a turf wicket. So we had to buy new spikes. We had to buy everything. And some of us didn't even know how to hold a bat at that time. So I was able to captain that tournament as well 
along with a couple of uh, other girls here, but almost six or seven of the girls have met at that tournament and now we're here. Yeah, it's never too early to meet your teammates. Yeah. So did you have any word with Sindhu Sriharsha before you embarked on this journey to the Under-19 T20 World Cup? Yeah, I definitely look up to Sindhu as a mentor. So I'm always texting her like, hey, what's going on? What do I do here? What do I do there? Actually, my first time captaining, I think I talked to her about what to write in an umpire's report. So she's been helping me a lot along the way and I'm really grateful for it. Smart Aura India. Jesse India may bana Alistair Smart LED TV with world-class clarity and amazing features.